that's better. I stand before you humbly and with humility that we all need to do better, that I need to do better, that our state needs to do better, and our country needs to do better. When we look around, we can see here that we live in a town that looks mostly like me, but that does not mean we can't affect change. When George Floyd was murdered on the street by police officers and he called out for his mom, that was a call to all of us to dig deep and to see what we can do to help him. You can help him in this state. You can reach out to your reps and senators and demand fair housing, fair health care, fair wages, and an overhaul to the Policeman's Bill of Rights. Yes. You are a police officer and you commit a murder, you are a criminal. Right. You are not serving and protecting our community. I want to thank you all for being here. Um, I'm going to leave you with the words of my inspiration, Nelson Mandela, who says, people are not born hating other people because of their background, their skin color, or their religion. People are learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love because love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. And I think at our conclusion, uh, we're now going to uh, take a knee in a moment of silence for eight minutes and 46 seconds in honor of the murder of George Floyd. And I hope you will all join us. Thank you. Please, please uh, get somewhere that's comfortable. <laughs> Find some grass. We're going to take a knee for George Floyd. Please make yourselves comfortable.